Hello, my name is Funke Akindele. Yes, me, your Google Big Skills. And you are watching Funke Inspires. Today's episode is self love. Let's talk about self love. Are you ready? First, let us definition self love. I say, you know, I mean, divine self love. Self love is the process of valuing and appreciating oneself. Yes. Having high regard for your well-being, either physically, spiritually, or psychologically, prioritizing your happiness. Now, let me ask you a question. Do you love yourself? Huh? Okay, let me rephrase that question. Let the question be to me. Funke Akindele, do you love yourself? Yes, I love myself. Oh. But before, before, I no love myself now. Ha ha. I go to say, I love you. Oh, I'm so selfless. A lot of us would tell our friends, I love you. We tell our spouses, oh, you mean so much to me. But we don't love ourselves. Mm -mm. You can't give what you don't have. You need to understand what self-love is all about. Because if you don't love you, you can't love someone else. Now, let's talk about some key points to self-love. Number one, you come first. Mm -hmm. There is a Yoruba saying that goes, be no by Juni, to jump when we la koko bonu. Yes, ke, if vi upon you, he burns another shy. You go dust the vire of your body first before you help another person. You have to come first. You have to love you. Everything you do has to be you first. For example, if we bought a aeroplane, you know the others where they do an announcement in the aeroplane. They go say, in the process of a cabin loss of fear, the oxygen mask withdraw. You gotta put your oxygen mask first before you help somebody else. You know why they say it? If you don't put your oxygen mask first, you go faint. Where you are helping others, you go died. So you have to come first. Take good care of yourself. Love you first. Number two key point to self-love is avoid comparison. Yes. Do not compare yourself to anybody. I've talked about comparison before on this program, but I'll talk about it again and again and again and again. Because comparison, ah, that is the stealer of joy. It's a thief of joy. If you compare yourself to Shine, Shine Du, to Ronke, to Halima, to Pele, your joy will just twin to. You become a zadist. Because the hair you bring, to this world is different from that one of candy. You don't have to compare yourself to anyone. Do you run your race at your pace? Okay? Some people are early starters. Some start late. Just do you. You're destined for greatness. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. Little drops of water makes a mighty ocean. If you avoid comparison, you will love yourself the more. It's very important. Number three, avoid worrying about people's opinion. Yes, opinion be like moat, moat. Where would they take heat, they talk. Everybody gets it. Yes, it's normal. People will give opinion. You can be negative, you can be positive. Now then Zabi, people that they have died, they have talked about them. Humble bossy you that you are alive. Yes. People will talk. Trust me, I won't sit here and say people's opinion about us is not at the back of our minds. Yes, we think about them. But we have the power to control how we feel, you know, how we react to what they think about us or what they say about us. The best thing is to ignore. Because if you pay attention to what they say about you, it will affect you emotionally, you know, to drain you. You, you, you become fearful. I don't want them to judge me. I don't want them to criticize me. Oh, how do I look? Oh, they're going to say, hey, my dress is not fine. They're going to say I'm repeating this hair. No, ignore. Trust me, it's very good to pay attention to constructive criticisms. It's very good. I do that a lot. 
when people talk about my works, I read any write-up about any movie I've done or something I'm doing presently. And, you know, I see if it. Is this one constructive? Is one just running his mouth like a tap? You get. I pick the one that I need to make good use of. And I use it. But the one that will drain me, or more, jump and pass, more jackpa. Eh, le pami, eh, le yimilori. Aye, komo wa, mo de magbadu a yemi. So avoid worrying about people's opinion because if you don't it will drain you and you will not live the good life the soft life number four is letting go of toxic people but the energy stay far away toxic people stay far away yes i want mr negativity i want hands to controlling i want miss manipulator I want Mr. I don't see any good in you. I want Mr. Controlling. I want you are not beautiful enough. I want I cannot support you. I don't post. I don't post on my feed. I do. It's all about me. I want you don't have enough breasts. You don't have enough hands. You are not good looking. Stay away. Yes, it's good to have friends. It's good to keep friends. Iki koki dagboshi. No man is an island. But when someone is toxic. You have to flee. For example, people that don't see good in you, they don't look at you and compliment you. They can't even say, oh, your hair is so beautiful. They're always like, ah, ah, oh, but she's she straight one. Ah, why don't you make it coily? Ah, there's a latest one they do. Be calling them, see good in me. Oh, see it. I mean, not fine. Controlling people, they want to be in charge always. They don't allow you to take the spotlight. Oh, more. Jackpa, those that are manipulative, no way. They can't sit with us. You have to flee. These people are not good for you, negative people. Anytime you tell them a plan, any good thing you want to do, they always tell you no, no, no. Why are you knowing? Oh yeah, we're not for me like idea. They don't have idea for you. Stay away from toxic people. It's a strength when you stay away from them. It helps you to love you. It aids self-love. It's good for your mental health. Number five key to self-love is processing your fears. Fear is an emotion everybody experiences. It is normal to be afraid, but do not let that fear eat you up. Because if it does, you will not achieve your goals. Don't let it swallow you up. It's important to identify what you're afraid of. Kill on for fear, you go, go, no. Is it negative thoughts or talks into your own life, personally, that you have been talking about or thinking about? Or is it from past experiences? Because past experiences really affect me. I, won't, I will not lie about that. But I talk myself through it. You know, I read books, I read quotes, I speak to therapists. You know, I psych myself, I talk to myself to get out of that fear because I want to achieve my goals. So you have to practice this. Fears that come from past experiences can drown you, but you must walk yourself out of it. Let me just use myself as an example. Then when I was attending auditions, I'll get no's, 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 no's. I'll get to my cry, I want to give up. But my late mom then would tell me, you just have to believe in yourself. Good things don't come easy. Practice more. Stand before the mirror. Rehearse. Get your monologues right. And I do that. And eventually I'm here today. So you get a lot of no's. That no's can bring fears to your life. But you just have to practice more. Be better. Be a better version of yourself. And gradually the fears, Mama Lo, the fears will vanish. We jack bad. Number six, six eta. Trusting yourself to make good decisions. You have to trust you. To trust yourself, you, you need to identify what you want. What are your goals? Know your worth, your value. What are you bringing in? What are you aiming to achieve? When you get all this right, you will get to where you're going. You have to trust yourself because it is all about you. It's your idea, it's your plan. You want that success. You're hungry for that success. So you have to trust you. Sometimes if we take decisions and 
we fail or we make mistakes. It's normal to make mistakes, but don't kill yourself over it. Forgive yourself. Let it go. Let it go. Move on. Move on. On to the next. Keep believing in you. Take a step at a time. Number seven. Be kind to yourself. Yes, you have to be kind to yourself. Say kind things to yourself. It's important. I want to ask you a question. When last did you go for massage? When did you go to the spa? You'll be suggesting, ah, go to the spa. You will say, took a break. When did you took a break? When did you go for case? Huh? You have to practice what you preach. You can't give what you do not have. Take some time off. Go on vacation. Pamper yourself. Make your hair. Do some baby girl things. Love your space. Love you. Be kind to you. It's important. It's a key point to self-love. Be kind to you. Let me just use myself as a sample before we round off the program. Funke Akindele, you are very beautiful. You are very smart, very intelligent, very brave. You are a strong woman, you are a fascist woman. You are number one, best star actress, best producer, best director. See how I say hey myself, I'm a kid in the field. Number one, be a see what goes on. From get all sexy, from get all brilliant, from get all intelligent. So guys, love you. Say kind words to yourself. Thank you so much for watching. Funke inspires. Have you been inspired? Be inspired. Okay, I love you so much. Thank you.